Hi everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in once again with us for these encouraging words together. Uh, we've been doing this a little over four years now. We started in 2020 during the time of COVID as a way to reach out to so many of our residents here at Friendship Village who were essentially just shut in in their apartments. So many government regulations back then. And so and as people weren't unable to get out and around, we found a way to go to them through these encouraging word videos. And then long after those restrictions were lifted, we've just continued on. And uh, at the request of so many that have learned to appreciate them and then share them with one another, I count it a privilege to share with you. Thanks for tuning in today. I want to share just a short, tiny, little scripture verse. This is from 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 16, which simply says two words, rejoice always. How often? Always. And what are we supposed to do all those moments? Rejoice. I think it's one of those verses where it might be easier said than done. Uh, how is it that we can rejoice every minute? of every day always that's the challenge of course it comes down to deciding what it is that gives us joy and often we confuse a momentary temporary happiness with a sustaining joy these are different things momentary happiness i certainly certainly appreciate those kind of things last night at my house we had i uh, had a chance over the weekend to grill some ribeye steaks and they were amazing and there was some momentary happiness of course there comes a danger do you eat too much maybe then i'm not so happy or it's the next day and that steak now has long been e eaten and so that happiness came and it went again happiness is fickle or it's temporal maybe that's a better word for us it changes with our circumstance sometimes we think chasing after material things if only i got this if only i achieve that then i'll finally be happy if only i obtain this uh, thing that i've wanted all my life or for however long then i'll be happy only to find that we receive that we obtain that we achieve that goal whatever it is and then that uh, that happiness leaves we've accomplished that what what comes next and many people live their lives just chasing thing after thing or thrill after thrill or experience after experience or goal after goal as a way to try to find a sense of fulfillment, peace, and happiness. And the problem is all those things are short-sighted. I didn't say they weren't important. I gave certain gifts recently to my wife uh, as we celebrated uh, Mother's Day. I was glad to do that. And those things brought a sense of happiness in that moment. But those things will wear out. They won't last forever. We can't take them with us. And so if our internal sense of joy, that which really gives us a sense of purpose and meaning, if that is tied primarily to these outward things, we set ourselves up for failure. So how is it that we can rejoice then always? Because not every circumstance feels joyful. Rising inflation, a high cost of goods and services, and just trying to eat and eat food. Like I said, I cook steaks over the weekend, but I look for a long time to find the right deal to get them at the right price that, uh, that I wouldn't have, to, wouldn't have to cost me an arm and a leg. And even then, I, I did uh, the cooking myself so I wouldn't have to pay someone else to do it at a restaurant. I'm trying to make frugal and good choices along the way. So all that to say is there's always something that's hard to look at, something negative. And whether we look at the economic climate or the political climate, or the international crisis that's taking place in so many different parts of the world today, it would be easy to think, how could I ever be happy again? And if you have been through a real time of suffering, you, through, through personally, things that affected your health, or loss, or other concerns, the very thought of trying to smile could be a challenge. So how is it then, in the midst of knowing that happiness 
often comes from things that do not last and in the midst of life situations that are difficult and daunting. How is it that we can rejoice always? Well, I think there's something that runs deeper than just a momentary happiness. There is an eternal joy that's meant to rule and reign on the inside of us. And the older I have gotten, the more I have come to realize that real joy comes from relationships, being in right relationship, whether it be our kids, our spouses, good friends, knowing that we have people that we can trust and turn to and depend on and that we can help in return. There is a joy that, that, that seems to creep in that no matter how difficult the days are ahead, uh, are ahead, we know that we have each other. But even in that, earthly relationships do come to an end. There are disagreements. There are different points of view. There is a contention that can rise between folks. People pass away. And the relationships of this world, in the end, those are fleeting as well. If we want an eternal joy, we need an eternal relationship. And that's what God calls us to, that we would experience Jesus as Lord and Savior, that we would come through Christ to know the Father for ourselves, to experience the presence of the Holy Spirit moving throughout our lives, in us and all around us. And as we develop a relationship with the one who loves us most, the one who never leaves us, never forsakes us, even when we get really mad and angry, when we make wrong choices, when we sin against him, if we come back to him, if we confess our sins, if we humble ourselves, what we discover, he will always take us back in. In the presence of the Lord, there is joy forevermore. So how do we hold on to a sustaining joy if everything else around us is fleeting or falling apart at some point? Even moment, uh, moments of, of happiness that seem so wonderful eventually fade away. How do we hold on to a joy? It's by holding on to a relationship with the eternal God through his son, Jesus Christ. And if we have turned to him, if we find our peace and our hope in him, if we bring our trials and our struggles and our concerns and our fears and worries to him, and in those moments when it seems like things aren't going right, if we will simply choose to trust him and fix our hearts on him, and by his grace soldier on, trusting that he will make things right in the end, there is a joy that's greater than our circumstance that can fill our heart and sustain us in every trial. It's my prayer that we would know the Lord like that. And we can. It starts by saying, Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. Help me to know you more and more. And then as we read scripture, as we gather with other believers and, and share the scripture with one another and understand the tenets of what it means to live as a Christ follower, we find ourselves growing, developing, maturing in a relationship with Christ. And in the security of knowing his love, of experiencing his care and provision, there comes a sustaining joy that is greater than every trial. The Apostle Paul writes to us, rejoice always. And if we choose to live our lives in Christ, if we devote ourselves to the Lord and to his ways, there is a way to experience that joy on an ongoing basis. That's my prayer. That's my hope for us all. And if you need that joy, let's turn to the Lord even right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the truth of your word. It tells us who you are. It reveals the certainty of your love and your care. We admit to you, Lord, we struggle sometimes with doubts. We go through the adversities of this life, and they are challenging. And so many times, Lord, our emotions, our own hearts are overwhelmed by the hardships of living in this world. And yet you give us moments 
where we we touch on joy we we have these various opportunities to experience happiness forgive us lord when we choose those routes that are not right that are only destructive that maybe bring a, a temporary a sense of of happiness but cost us more than we ever want to pay because of their destructive nature we don't want to embrace those kinds of sins those sins that that uh, seem to seem to bring joy for just a small season we recognize them for the lie that they are help us lord to turn to you in all things to love you with all our heart soul and strength even as you love us and out of the purity and uh, eternal nature of that relationship the fact that you always will love us may we always turn to you may we always submit ourselves to you and out of the experience of knowing you more and more, come and fill our hearts with your joy. From you, the one who does not fade, you, the one who lasts forever, you, the one whose love never fails, out of the depths of a relationship with you, may we know your joy, and may we then choose to rejoice always in every circumstance. Thanks for your help. Lord, for those that are really struggling right now, meet us in a special way. Draw us close to you. Help us to put our hope in you to find our joy in your love. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Christ's precious name we pray. Amen. There is joy to be found in the Lord. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Here on channel 2493, we show you these videos three times a day. This video will air at 4.30 today. It'll repeat 8 o'clock tonight, and then once again, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But uh, we store all of these on YouTube. For many years, they were on my personal YouTube page. And if you just type in encouraging words with Burt Campbell on your smartphone or your computer laptop, it'll likely take you to my personal page where so many of these are stored. But we have started storing in the last year on an official Friendship Village Chesterfield Chaplain page. And you can find this video there as well today. In addition to that, on that page, you'll also find our Sunday services, our Wednesday Bible studies, our once a month hymn sings, the uh, various memorial services, special other gatherings that take place. And all of that can be found if you go to youtube.com backslash, then that at symbol, then type in FVC Chaplain. And on that page, you'll find this video and all of that other material as well. And if you're there or you're watching this is online, Maybe you could send the link to someone else that you know could use some, uh, some encouragement, some help in the area of joy. It's always good to spend this moment with you. God bless you today. If you're watching online, you can subscribe to these videos by clicking on the circle right above or on the box below to view many in our past history. Have a great day in the Lord. We'll see you next time.